Hey, hey, quick question for you. Are you interested in keeping the beers, wine, dinners out, and favorite activities in your life guilt or regret free? Good news, that's exactly what I help my clientele as well as myself do by creating a well-balanced, maintainable, healthy, active lifestyle. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Brian Edwards. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I've been in the fitness industry for the past 15 years. You may have also seen me on the show American Ninja Warrior. In the process of all that, I've never been one, or wasn't till recently, never been one to really want to follow any sort of restrictive nutrition plan, crazy, wild fitness program. I Personally, I wanted something that was maintainable for me that would allow me to keep the foods the drinks the people and the activities in my life that i wanted and in the process of doing that i have come to realize that a lot of the clientele i work with wanted the exact same thing which isn't surprising because that is the end goal right a balanced maintainable healthy active lifestyle with no regrets. To dive a little deeper in that, you just to make sure you're listening to the right live right now, you do want to enjoy the food you're eating as, a fo as opposed to feeling restricted and like you have to cut everything out because social media is telling you to do so. You do want to be active without fear of injury or not being able to walk the next couple of days because you hopped in an activity and weren't ready for it, right? And you do want to spend time with the people doing the activities that you enjoy doing, that depriving yourself along the way, right? So why do we spend millions, if not billions of dollars on restrictive diet programs that all they do is teach you how to cut everything out of your diet because it's bad for you and quick fixes that just jump you back the other way anyway fitness programs that lead to injury or just go too hard and then you're not able to walk the next couple of days and you're back to where you started going too hard again and basically depriving yourself of all the fun and opportunities you should be enjoying in your life at this stage of your life or any stage of your life. So how do we stop restricting? How do we stop depriving and getting ourselves to enjoy? It's actually a lot simpler than you would think. And you're not going to have to spend the tens of thousand dollars out of your own pocket on the restrictive plans, on the crazy plans that don't do anything except yo-yo you up and down with your results. So how do we do that? These next couple steps and tips I'm going to give you are something I take all my clientele through in my No Regrets Lifestyle Guide. First one being is you've got to shift your focus. Shift the focus on what you have to take out of your diet and focus it on what you can put back in. When you make that shift and you focus on the good, healthy foods that you're going to actually enjoy and eat regularly, guess what? You can go out and enjoy all the foods anytime without having to worry about going out to dinner with friends and family, being at home, out on a company uh, dinner or event. And... Even during the holidays, you can enjoy those cookies, cakes, candies, whatever it is, guilt and regret free. Shift that mindset. Start thinking about what are some of the healthy foods you enjoy that you would gladly eat and not have to restrict yourself on the other end. Second, focused time in the gym. What do I mean by that? How many of you are killing yourselves in the gym and not seeing the results you want? 
It happens all the time. I talk to people daily that are going through this. And it's because of these couple of, couple of examples I'm going to give you right now. If you're looking to, you know, tone up, lean out, get the muscles you want, but you're not doing any strength training and all you're doing is pressing a couple buttons that say go and then you're either running, walking, climbing, biking, whatever, you're not going to see the lean muscles you want because you're working on improving your heart, your lungs, and your overall endurance, not your lean muscle. And this is something we can dive into on another topic, another day. But doing too much cardio may actually be taking away your lean muscle and putting on some body fat. I know, I'm not going to dive into it right now because it's a whole other topic. But if all you're doing is focusing on your cardio and you're looking to lean up and tone up, you're focused on the wrong thing when you're doing your workouts. Flip that. If you're doing nothing but strength training and you're telling me you're looking to improve your endurance, go hop in a race, 5K, 10K, half marathon, whatever, triathlon, biathlon. If you're doing nothing but strength training and no actual cardiovascular work, you're not going to do too well in your event. Even worse, if you're focused on improving a sport-specific activity, like let's say you're looking on tennis, maybe golf, Maybe you took up springboard diving. I don't know. If you're not doing anything that's sports specific, you're not going to hit your goal either. So we got to get you focusing on your time. And part of that's not your fault either. Some of you just may not have the knowledge to go do the work that needs to be done. And if that's the case, what's keeping you from asking for help? Fitness professionals such as myself will be glad to, number one, help you identify what you need to work on, do it in a safe manner, and we'll get you the results you want a lot faster because we're going to put you in the right direction, doing the right things right off the bat. Please ask for help. This is a big one because I see too many people struggling and not seeing results because they're too worried that they're going to look foolish or be embarrassed by asking. Ask for help. We're glad to be there for you. Feel free to reach out to me if you feel comfortable working with me. Number three, and this you've probably heard before, you need to shoot for realistic goals. But if you're only shooting for realistic goals, you're missing out on half of it. Because the other thing you need to shoot for is maintainable goals. Now, what do I mean by that? Realistic and maintainable. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, I'd love to be my high school weight. And for some, that may actually be a realistic number to shoot for. But after kids, marriage, a handful of other life experiences, hormone changes in your body, it may not be maintainable. So shooting for 10 pounds, 20 pounds, the skinny jeans fitting you better, your shirts looking good, feeling comfortable with what you see looking back in the mirror. That may be the maintainable goal on top of the realistic goal. That's what you should be shooting for. And the best example I can give you of this that kind of ties this whole picture in together is picture that <clears throat> high school wrestler. I'm sure we've all known someone that wrestled in high school and when they were trying to cut weight, they were starving themselves, dehydrating themselves, basically making themselves miserable trying to get to a number on the scale. Sound familiar, right? When they got down there, it was awesome because they made weight for the match, which is what their goal was. But then once they made weight and went back to their realistic habits, everything jumped right back up to an area their body was actually maintainable with the work they were putting in. So that match weight wasn't necessarily maintainable. It's realistic because they were hitting it, but it wasn't a place that you're gonna stay and feel comfortable staying. The ultimate goal is to create that well-balanced, maintainable 
healthy, active lifestyle. And that's exactly what I help all my clientele achieve. And it's something I consistently am shooting to maintain myself. So if that's something you're interested in shooting for, do not hesitate. I shared a link in the description that will allow you to set up what I like to call my no regrets strategy session. Click that link and set up a call with me where if the only thing you get out of that call is your first steps towards going towards that and creating your maintainable lifestyle, awesome. We'll also talk about if my no regrets lifestyle guide is something that's gonna help get you there faster and really be the right program for you. So again, links in the description, definitely set that call up. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out and ask me. I'd be more than happy to answer. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of the night.